One of the fastest things we can do is label our beam systems. In order to do this, first you should always be inside of a plan view. Next, we'll go ahead and zoom in just a little bit so we can actually read some of the text. And then we'll come up here to the Annotate tab on our ribbon. Now, once you select on Annotate, there's a big button over here that says Tag All. Go ahead and select on Tag All. Now there's gonna be a big long list of things here and we're gonna to have to look for a tag that's going to allow us to tag these individual things. And in this case, it's gonna be a structural framing tag and we're just gonna use the standard structural framing tag. So you can just highlight that. Now what each of these actually are is that they're each tags for different kinds of objects. If they have multiple different kinds of conditions here where it says loaded tags, what it's giving you is different looks to the tag. So you can just choose which kind of look that you want to have associated with that particular tag. This one that we're choosing here is just going to have the steel size associated with it. So we'll go ahead and click on OK to that. And as you can see, of all these structural members we had in this view, they now all have a size tag to them. If one of these members would happen to change to be something of a different size, for instance, like in this case, I'm going to click on this 14 by 30, I'm going to select on the little pin head here and just unpin it. That's going to allow us to change it. And if I change this to be a different size, perhaps 12 by 26, we'll see the tag automatically update on the fly. And let's go ahead and change that back to a 14 by 30. And once again, you can see it automatically update itself on the fly. One thing to know, though, is if we would go to our third floor, those tags are not there, so you'll need to use that command again on each of your subsequent floors. So labeling our beam systems is easy. All you need to do is come up here and select on Tag All, or your other option will be to select on Tag by Category. What this will allow you to do is label each of these individual beams on an individual basis.